Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Stanley Plumley from Old Heart, published by W.W. W. Norton in 2007. The poem I'm going to read is entitled Childhood. You couldn't keep it out. You could see it drifting from one side of the road to the other, watch the wind work it back and forth across the hard white surfaces, then the oak with its ten dead leaves, winded, wanting it. But you couldn't keep it out. It was like dust, an elegance, like frost. All you had to do was stand at the window, and it passed like light over your face, softer than light at the edges, the seams, the separations in the glass. All you had to do was stand still in the dark, and the room seemed alive with it, a bright breath on the air. If you fell asleep, you knew it would cover you. It could cover you the way cold closes on water. It could shine like ice inside you. And if you woke up early, the cup on the bureau cracked. You were sure that even pockets of your jeans would be filled. Nothing could stop it, could keep it out. Not the room and sunlight, nor neutral like the rain. Not the sweeper sweeping, nor the builder building wood fires each morning. Not the wind blowing backwards without sound, where the sky seems to separate the clouds, the clouds, the sky, the white oaks all lean in on one another, snowy, hollow, still gothic with winter, and the few torn leaves starved natural back into the spring before this one, the one long since gone black under the ice, hold on, mark time, they'll drop eventually once, twice, and turn bright green again, blossoming. And the few songbirds stationed out of sight in the high, cold crowns, barely audible, almost mythical, they'll sing true again, fly and fall to the earth a while. And this is promised, too, that the wind left trapped in the blue alleys of the branches will calm and clarify in the risen, rising air. Let the stone gods and their fountains move like clockwork. They're no less rooted in the rain, nor their marble less perfection of the snow. Let the clay gods circle in the fire. The body piecemeal wastes away, and the something soul slips from the mouth, muse and sacred memory shuts its eyes. I died. I climbed a tree. I sang. Childhood. Stanley Plumley, Old Heart, W.W. W. Norton, 2007. If you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about the poet Stanley Plumley, as well as a link to the publisher's site where you can purchase a copy of this book for yourself. Um, and also find a list of other projects and series I'm currently working on. Feel free to check those out. Uh, the links are all available there. Um, and if there's anything you want to reach out to me and let me know about, please feel free to use the comment section to do that or reach out to me directly by email. Um, I'm always excited and happy to, to record these videos and share contemporary poetry with others. Um, I enjoy stepping back into my own library and finding books that I have neglected or only partially read through and rediscovering the work, as well as books that I have fallen in love with over and over again and uh, keep returning to. So um, if you have poems or poets you'd like to recommend, please feel free to, to let me know. Um, and uh, I guess that's basically it. Uh, so I know this is coming to you guys a day late because I totally forgot yesterday was Thursday. Um, that is the week I've had. But I am delighted to, to be able to offer you this video, even if it is a day late. Uh, thank you all for all the new follows. We've had a number in the last couple days, and uh, I appreciate all the support that you're giving me. Um, thank you once again. This is Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series. We'll be back again every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday with uh, new poetry and new readings. And uh, until then, stay safe and well. Keep reading, keep writing, keep building bridges and community wherever and however you can. And uh, we'll be back again soon with more poetry and more reading. Um, all the best with you and your own creative journeys, and I will continue plugging away on my own, and we will meet again uh, in a couple days. Take care and goodbye.